All right, so now this guy's inside of the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and shoot out his tires. And you can see, literally like less than one second, the tires are shot out. So Madden City just got an update, they added the new chain gun, they added two new vehicles, and they added bulletproof vests. So today I'm going to be taking a look at all these new things. First thing we're going to start off with is a chain gun. Now normally, to get a chain gun, you wait for a uh, red crate to drop, just like how you get the ray gun pretty much. Except like, occasionally it will drop a chain gun. But I'm too lazy to wait for all that, so I'm going to go ahead and just weapon, mini gun, for me, alright, and there we go, now I have myself a chain gun, okay, so the chain gun is separate from the uh, assault rifles and the snipers and RPGs, so it's on the second slot over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot it once real quick, hopefully I can get it to go once, alright, I think that was about 8 damage, yeah, my alt account looks like just took 8 damage here, so one shot of the chain gun does 8 damage, and you can see, that immediately took down my alt to like way below 30 health over there, that's, this chain gun, it might be potentially a bit OP, but the only downside of the chain gun is, you hear how long it takes to spin up, right? It takes freaking forever. It's kind of like the uh, cars on Jailbreak that have the minigun on top, except like it's a whole lot more accurate on this game. So if I come over here and go 3, 2, 1, boom, you see how much damage that takes. That's a lot of damage. So now I'm going to go ahead and tell him to go put on a bulletproof vest. So as you can see over here at the uh, bulletproof vest station, it's basically right next to all these other clothes here. We got the PewDiePie bacon hair skin, and we also have the armor over here. So I'm going to go ahead, just buy the armor real quick. This armor is completely oversized for my character, but I mean, uh, that's just how this game works. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stand here. Okay, now my alt account, I'm gonna come over here and grab myself like a random weapon, probably like the uh, SWAT or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just test out on my alt account here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my main account with the MP5 gun over here. So here we go. In three, two, one, the MP5 does how much damage? It's barely doing anything, okay? It's normally supposed to do 8 damage, but I'm gonna go ahead and heal up to full health real quick. Alright, so now you can see over here, Bulletproof Vest is on. I have 150 health instead of 100. So go ahead and just shoot me once with, like, the gun. Alright, so you can see the gun still does the normal amount of damage. It's just the effect is you have a lot of uh, health instead. You get, like, 50% more, so it's a total of 150% of your regular health. But the thing about the Bulletproof Vest is it's only one time use so as you can see there whenever he oofed me now i have to come over here and buy another vest okay so yeah it works like that and the chain gun is honestly very op because if i spawn a vehicle over here i'm just gonna go ahead and just get a camaro because like why not and a weapon me a mini gun real quick and you can see, now I have a minigun, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot out the tire. Okay, uh, can you spawn a vehicle? Alright, so now this guy's inside of the vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot out his tires. And you can see, literally like less than one second, the tires are shot out. And same thing over here, I can basically shoot out all four of his tires super duper quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go like, boom. This is gonna be like the gun to stop road chases. Because like, you can literally just come over here and immediately spray their tires. And it, it shoots it out like, I believe it's based on bullet count. So because this gun shoots out like a crazy amount of bullets then like the uh, tires just immediately goes out compared to like a pistol where I have to like shoot it like several times like six seven times takes like at least three seconds to do that but this one you can see immediately just kaboom all right it's way too broken so now I should probably go show you guys the two new vehicles so now there's one new vehicle in front of the criminal base and I believe the second one is right over here and I have no idea where the SWAT vehicle is but this one over here is called a dominator it costs a hundred thousand cash so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this thing real quick I'm pretty sure this is not gonna save because I did turn on the cheats and stuff but that really doesn't matter but we're gonna go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead real quick max out the engine level so that way we can do a quick speed test or something okay so here we go supercharged engine and you can see now all we can do is just uh just drive all the way around here it is definitely a moderately fast i'm just gonna go ahead and drive all the way over here to the city so it is pretty fast but it's like a little bit slower than some of the fast vehicles obviously because it costs like 10 times less than like some of those super rich ones uh, like the what's it called the warhawk and the thunderbird and all the other super expensive vehicles but still it's not too slow compared to the original camaro and the next vehicle over here is this one uh why did the vehicle just like drop on top of me i don't understand but here's this one over here it's called the vapid basically rapid instead of r it's a v and we're gonna go ahead and get inside and because i'm a police officer it automatically puts on the lights but it shouldn't really affect the speed too much let's go ahead and put on the supercharged engine on this vehicle as well just like this and here we go let's take it for a spin 
Well, I believe these two vehicles are very, very similar in terms of speed. So we're going to go ahead and actually do a quick speed test on them. So right now I'm inside of the Vapid. I'm going to go ahead and go to my original speed testing track. This time there's going to be no alien nonsense in the middle of the road, unlike the last vehicle test I did, which was almost a month ago, because that's how long time ago they haven't really added a new, new vehicle. But let's go ahead in three, two, one, go. So this Vapid took about like 21 seconds or something like that to reach the end. The actual time might vary a little bit due to like human reaction time and stuff like that. But that's just a rough estimate of the actual time. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back and test out the Dominator speed. Alright, so here we go I'm now inside of the Dominator. It does look a little bit different from the Vapid, but it might like be very similar as well. Let's go ahead and make the uh, server daytime real quick because I'm kind of tired of it being nighttime during the middle of a speed test. Because you can't really see anything, but yeah, anyway, in 3... Two, one, go. So this vehicle is pretty much the exact same speed as the other one. It measured out to be a slightly under 21 seconds, which is basically within margin of error. So pretty much these two vehicles are identical. It's just one of them is at the criminal base and one of them is at the police station. So if you buy one of them, there's really no reason to get the other one. I feel like the Dominator is just a little bit faster than the other one, but it, it, that just might be like testing right now. But still, it's pretty much margin of error, like I said, and uh, you can just uh, get either one of these vehicles and you'll be fine. But I'd honestly recommend just saving up to the 4 million and get yourself like a Warhawk. Because the Warhawk is so much like easier to use than any of the other vehicles All you have to do is just fly across the map and it works But now let's go ahead and go back and do some more testing on the bulletproof vest and everything So I have an idea Do you know how criminals and police officers can wear the vest? Now I'm over here in my old account I'm gonna go ahead and run inside and get myself some armor here uh, I don't even have any money so that's gonna be a bit of an issue But sadly I can't really like uh, you know get myself some money on this account So I have an idea What if I get a dog? And have the dog attack somebody with a vest. Okay, let's see if it does any difference. I'm gonna go ahead and get my classic bacon dog. And immediately you can see he attacks the bacon air over here without a vest on. Now, doggy, come over here. Can you attack this criminal? And is he stuck in the ground? Uh... Okay, so bulletproof vest seems to literally do nothing to stop a dog. Um, did the uh, dog actually do any damage or not? I'm not sure. Uh, what if I shoot the dog? I believe last time we proved that if we shoot the dog, the dog literally does not uh, do anything. But uh, if another person over here can be a police officer and spawn a dog, I can try to shoot them. Alright, so now we have over here somebody on the police team. They're gonna go ahead and grab a dog real quick. And you can see the dog is immediately coming after us. Can the minigun shoot down the dog? I'm not sure. Maybe, but maybe not. Okay, actually, uh, he attacked the other bacon here over here. I don't have a vest on right now, but I should probably go get myself a vest. Actually, I have an idea just on how to do that. Let's go ahead and just fly over here. I just get myself a, a superhero power. But here we go. Let's go ahead and buy our armor real quick. We look like a really, really weird looking bacon hair. But that doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go ahead and come over here. We have an armor. We have a, our superhero power. What does it take to take, get rid of these dogs? Okay, these dogs seem to be completely invincible. So yeah, there's no change over here with the dogs and stuff like that. Okay, can I go over here and uh, switch over to minigun? Yes, I can. And here we go, doggy. Uh, whoa, that's shooting the buzzer, not the dog. All right, there we go. And here we go. Let's go ahead and just, uh, okay, buzzer is completely down. It's like beeping and everything. But this dog is still invincible. So there's no change to the dog. So the bulletproof vest doesn't really matter if you're a police team or a prisoner team. It still gives you 150 health instead of the 100. And I believe if you go like a reset or something, you go oof. Then your health whenever you respawn is going to be 100. So here we go. You can see the health is now 100 instead of 150. So that means you need a vest in order to get your health to super high level. So I believe there's also another vest at the criminal base. Which I should probably go take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, power myself with the uh, frostbite again. So here we go. Let's go ahead now. Uh, fly outside of prison. Head to the criminal base. And take a look at the vest at the criminal base. And here we go. We're now at the criminal base. I believe they said that criminals have their own version. It looks like. Like a grayer version and yes indeed they have one over here and the cost for either one of them is still the same they both give you the same amount of health boost 
So, like, you don't take less damage from the gun. It just takes more gunshots to actually get rid of you, okay? Effectively, works the same way. You just get additional health instead of a reduction in the uh, gun damage. But, yeah. I guess that's basically it for this update here. We got ourselves, um, the uh, bulletproof vest. We have the minigun. And we have, uh two new vehicles that we speed tested and they're hopefully um a pretty decent buy just like the other vehicle that we tested last time whichever the newer one it was like the gti or something like that they're all the same honestly in terms of performance around the 20 second mark the faster vehicles around 15 seconds the slower ones are around 25 seconds so honestly if i were you i just like buy one of these vehicles over here probably the one at the criminal base but if you guys enjoyed this be sure to press like comment subscribe let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and i'll see you guys next time